Good morning. It is November 6, 2024, 10.39 a.m. It is the morning after. These are all the cartoons from last night's live blog. And there were 16 cartoons. And I started a couple of them before the night began just to kind of warm up. And uh, where the night did not go as we expected or as we had hoped, as we had wanted. I had two beers last night. I had them really late, like at like uh, close to midnight. Because uh, I worked and focused on this, and I think I drew like one more or two more while I was drinking those two beers in the lobby of the hotel. While well, watching the results come in, I was saddened. And here's the thing, I only had two beers, and I I feel like I have a hangover. <laughs> it's just, and it's not that, that heady kind of hangover, it's just like that the whole low enthusiasm type thing. It fucking sucks. Uh, this is the first cartoon, of course, I drew this. I do this actually. I uh, started this a couple of days ago, and then I thought that's not the cartoon. It's going to be like for the day after the election, but then I was like, ah, eh, I don't like it that much. And then I did like it, and I put it back in and decided to use it for the opening for the live blog so I could put it in earlier in the day. Uh, this one's probably longer than most of the videos. This is one that's kind of fun, and I drew it on the train coming up, and then I did I finish this on the train. I don't remember. The, the previous one was also colored and in, in inked on the train. Uh, some shout-outs for Robert Cortino. Oh, yeah, this guy lost. Uh, Derek Anderson, he did lose his race in my district. This is for the 7th Congressional District, which Democrats won. Uh, it, and a new congressman will be uh, Vindman. I, I, I keep forgetting his first name because I keep forgetting up, mixing him up with his twin brother uh, who did testify for Congress and was fired by Trump. Uh, another shout-out to Sparky Perry, D.D. Wiss, and Satanic Fatty. He asked if it's safe to come out, which he wrote 18 hours ago. No, Satanic, as you probably know by now, it is not. It's not. God, it's just, are you drained? <laughs> Do you feel drained? I mean, just a few days ago, Donald Trump was giving a microphone a blowjob. Um, he's ranting and screaming about Latinos. And you know what? His Latino vote went up. It, it went up. Um I got a lot of other things to say about this. I'll probably do it in today's cartoon. This was kind of funny to me. I, I got this idea on the train, but I drew it in the hotel. And, it, and as you will notice from some of these things, that the, the quality declines as the night goes on. Oh, I still yawning. I did not sleep good last night. I went to bed a little bit after two. And uh, I just, I mean, I tried to unwind in my hotel room, just just sitting here reading things and just and then I stopped reading I, I, I got to go back through some fucking takes and, and and analyze data and stuff and you know what I don't even feel like doing that this was drawn in the lobby during the live blog yeah, and I thought it was kind of cool turns out Putin got all oranges yeah yeah all oranges what it, the fuck is wrong with this fucking country it just it just oh god this country will never be the same again this country's gonna be ruined we just we turned to office the worst president in the history of the United States. And for some reason, we were like, ah, this, this, this is give time this time. And this time, the majority. You know why it was a majority this time? Because he ran against a black woman. This country's just not there yet, folks. This country is still racist and sexist, you know. Um, this was very early in the night. This is when the first results came in, like from like New Hampshire and whatever first state that was for Republicans. Was it Kentucky or Indiana? It's one of those two. Um, yeah. I'm just, I'm in a very disgusted mood. I got a couple ideas for this morning. And, and I might turn one of these into the, the cartoon for my clients, maybe. I really like this one, but it turned out to be wrong. I thought this was one of the funniest ones. Uh, I really dug it. And plus, I like drawing um, ketchup bottles as human beings. I, I forget another word for that, but um, not ketchup bottles, but inanimate objects, but I always fail to pronounce it. And, and I'm more Anyway, uh... Yeah, but I did like this one. It just wasn't all right. I just I was expecting him to get angry and start throwing things and shit like that. But that, he never lost the lead. That sucks. I wrote on this one like, sorry, this is just a fat joke. I never do it again <laughs> tonight and stuff. Um, this one disgusts me because this is just another fucking billionaire that sponges off everything he can because he can't because he's a billionaire. Billionaires can do that. He's he's slow with all his payments and bullshit like that, and he's just a horrible, vile person, just like Donald Trump. This is Rick Scott one, Florida, which didn't surprise us. But uh, anytime I get to make a Baltimore joke with Rick Scott, I'm in. <laughs> just, God, this guy's, I mean, you you think just from looking at his photo, you won't, wouldn't want the guy to be governor. Because he looks evil. He, he can't disguise his evil. You know, that's just, ah, uh, it's a huge, you know, he looks like a prick. I, I personally have a rule. Don't vote for people who look like a dick, okay? Uh, the, now, yeah, the, the, the governor, the Republican candidate for North Carolina governor lost, but Trump won North Carolina. 
Yeah. Some polls had uh, Harris as high as, as three. And I noticed with every state, every single swing state, I, and I think I got to go back and look, I believe all the outcomes were all within the margin of error. So but I don't think we can really scream at pollsters. Nobody's really predicting either one either. I mean, there's some people, Trump, Harris. But again, anyone who made a prediction didn't know what they were talking about. They, they were just fucking lucky. I like this one. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, this might be a good one to make into an official cartoon, but I don't think I'm going to. I think there's another one here that might make a better one, and it might be the next one. I'm not, I don't remember if it is in it. Uh, that's how I felt last night, though. Uh, no, it's not this way. Uh, a lot of people ask me if I was to go on the ledge, but I don't look like that. But, but I might get out on the ledge, though. Uh, uh, just, uh, just. The next four years, i got to repeat 2016 through 2020 again with my cartoons, you know, except it's going to be worse. So maybe that'll make it better for me just creatively. I don't know. I like this one. I was, I, I like any kind of references to like airplane, you know, uh, surely you're not serious, you know, and, um, and, uh, the jerk and blazing saddles, you know, I can always, I like doing those kind of movies with this. It's like, I put those three movies together with, with all the fucking great lines, you know, he really hates these cans, you know, <laughs> Call that dog shit head uh, from the jerk. And <laughs> where are all the white women at? Uh, from Blazing Cells. One of my favorites. Um, nee, 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 nee. This might be the one cartoon to consider to, to make an official cartoon. Uh, the Daily Cartoonist, Mike Peterson, writes that he said this one was his favorite because he put it in the Daily Cartoonist today and wrote about the live blog. Uh, I want to thank everybody who went to live blog last night. This one is not my favorite. I don't even like it that much, but it's fucking accurate. It is. I, I saw like a Steve Kelly of the cartoon celebrating and saying, the country went back to common sense. <laughs> Fuck you, Steve Kelly. Fuck you. I mean, what is the deal with these people? They, 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 either they don't understand it's fascism that they're taking us into, or, or they do know it, which is scarier. And they think that's common sense. Seriously. This is just funny. I like this one. So, uh, I really hate to see Trump win the states that Biden lost. And I've used the, the peach butt joke before, but it's been a while. So let's just go ahead and bring it back for the live blog. Live blog only. So, And I've used this flag so many times, but this might be the most accurate time ever that I've used it. It's just this is the last cartoon. Number 16. Everybody, thank you who watched the live blog and uh, watching this video. I'm going to post this video on um, uh, Twitter and Facebook as well. Everybody, have try to have a good day. I don't know if I can. Maybe, maybe if I see the girl tonight, I can. Maybe. Um, depends. She might be so down she doesn't want to see me or anything that reminds her of politics. And looking at me reminds her of politics. Uh, hopefully some other things. Guys, have a good day. I will talk to you later today or tomorrow. Bye.